Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Economics and of course today we're going to talk about the measurement of income elasticity of demand okay the measurement of income elasticity or demand in the previous episode we did an introduction into income elasticity or demand where we're about to see what the, that is the degree of responsiveness of the change in quantity demanded to the what to the change in the consumer's income okay so today we want to see how we can measure that degree all right so how do we see what that degree okay of what or magnitude of what of that change okay so now uh, do not forget that this tutorial is brought to you by the OT School Jam CBT practice app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. Say you want to pass your exam at once. Okay, you have made up your mind that I will not write jam twice. It is that application you must have on your phone. Go and download it immediately. Before we talk about the app, let us see a question from the app. This is a 2008 question number nine. Say if income rises from 2000 era to 4000 era and quantity demanded, Increases from 80 units to 120 units. Find the income elasticity of demand. A say 0.5, B say 1.2, C say 2.5, D say 4.0. Okay, we'll talk about this question in a moment, in a moment when we introduce this topic. Okay, this is part of the questions we are going to what solve as well as examples. All right, so please uh, do not forget to download the application. It has all the past questions you need for your exam. As wonderful features like the classroom feature with lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus. Question search feature we can search for questions just like the way we brought out this question from the application pertaining to this topic. Wonderful feature. Then you have UTME mock challenge every Saturday. Okay, you must participate in a mock exam on the app. In that mock exam, we are not competing with yourself alone. We are competing with every student okay that's writing jam for this year all right you compete with them you get it to jam pass question jam likely examination question familiarize yourself, yourself with how jam set question as well as see your result release every saturday so you will not be afraid when they say jam has released result because it's something you are used to all the time all right so please build your confidence towards that main exam get the application it is worthy it is worthy to what to have it okay and of course activation is just for it's not up to the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant. So please go and get that application. Pass your exam at one. That's what you need now. It's not a, it's not a ice cream. Okay, pay the money, activate it. Send a message to this number on WhatsApp if you want to download for your, for your computer or your laptop. It's also if you want to activate, send a number, send a message to this number 091 now let us talk about the measurement of income elasticity of demand. Okay, so how do we measure income uh, elasticity of demand? We say that what that income already we already know that what will present income elasticity of demand with what with E Y. Abi, and we say that what that E Y is equal to what change percentage change rather percentage change in quantity demanded. Okay. All over, all over percentage change in income. All over percentage change in consumers' income. Okay, this one is Y. This one is what, of course, QD. That's where we will be representing it. And that's all, that they will present income with what is Y. Please take note of what of that. So this is the formula that we use in calculating the what, the, or, or measuring what income elasticity of what of demand. All right? And of course, we know that what that EY, this means what change. This is our change, percentage change. All right? Percentage change in what QD all over what percentage change in what why okay which is what our consumers what income so we can replace, we can what easily was shorting consumers in cut to the why all right all right now we know that what percentage we know that what change in qd itself is what is new quantity demanded minus what old quantity what demanded all over what old Quantity demanded. Okay, if you want to announce a percentage change in QD, all right, that means that what you'll be multiplying here by what? By by 100, 100%. Okay, so this will be the percentage change in what? In QD. All right, now for percentage change in consumer's income, percentage change in Y is what? New, sorry, new Y minus what? Old Y over what? old y then times what now 100 percent okay so that will be percentage change in what in income of the what of the consumer i hope you understand this very easy all right so new y a uh, new qd 
minus pod QD or if let us continue with our our format of say initial QD so that we will know what we will not confuse ourselves. Okay, minus what initial QD. Let me not use old. All over what now initial QD is the same thing. If I use old, I use initial. Is the same thing. So, but because we use initial. Initial Y, because we need initial when we're talking about price elasticity, let's just talk about what let's just keep with our what with our initial. So it's as simple as ABC. Okay. So this is how we calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded, and this is how we calculate the percentage change in what in Y. Then uh, our what now our EY now will now be what percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in what in Y. So it's actually what this over what this. Okay, this over this. Simple as ABC. Okay, so now there's uh, also a, another shortcut formula that we can use to calculate the what the uh, income elasticity of demand. Let me put that formula here. All right, in case you don't want to go through all this stress. Okay, EY is also change in what quantity demanded over what change in what in income. Okay, then times what now old income or initial income over what. Old quantity demanded or what initial quantity demanded. This one is a shortcut formula. Shortcut formula for what? For calculating what the income elasticity of them. We're going to use both of them to solve the question so that what we will see that what we are both were correct. So now let us see. Let us go to the O2 School Jump app now. Take the questions that we have and then we are done with this class. This class is not supposed to take too long, okay? Because we already have an idea from the last class. So please, for any reason, if you do not like this video, what you are doing is very, very wrong, okay? So for any reason, you know, you cannot click on like button, okay? That is wickedness, all right? So as you can see, our YouTube channel, there are no ads. Our Facebook, there's no ad, all right? So seamless what study, seamless study. And liking the video will make other students to be what, able to easily find this video and learn also, okay? You are not a, you are not, you, happy you know what made a pass F. okay? Please click on the like button then, share, click on that share button. Just share, share to your wall on Facebook, share to your friends on WhatsApp, share on, share to your, your WhatsApp group, share to your friends, okay? Let everybody learn, let everybody pass, okay? This jam, you cannot write it twice, all right? You, and you will not write it twice in Jesus' name. Say amen in the comment section. Also say, talk to your grand commander now. Say, grand commander, thank you for what you are doing for us. Ah, some of you, eh? Ah, it's only complain. Okay, so now let us continue. Let us see that question now. 2008, number nine. It says, it says, if income rises, if income rises from 2,000 Naira to 4,000 Naira. So for income, yeah, okay, uh, old or initial income, initial income is what? Is 2,000 Naira. Okay, then what? Uh, uh, new income. Is what four thousand naira, all right? Then what now? We are to initial quantity demanded for QD for quantity demanded initial quantity demanded is what is 80, 80 units. Okay, now the new quantity demanded is what uh, one hundred and twenty units. Okay, so now we're told to find the income elasticity of demand. Is that not very easy now? It's very easy. So we can now find what percentage change in income, then find the percentage change in quantity demanded, and then we divide and we're done. Very easy. So now, initial income is what? Uh, 2,000 euros. So now, per change, percentage change, percentage change in Y, which is our income, which is Y, okay? It's equal to what now? Uh, old, we said what is what is... Uh, New minus what initial over initial okay times hundred percent all right so what is the new one new one is four thousand all right four thousand minus what what is the initial two thousand over what initial which is two thousand then times what hundred percent okay so now four thousand minus two thousand is what is two thousand over what now two thousand then times hundred percent two thousand will cancel two thousand what's left is hundred what percent that means that what the percentage change in the consumer's income was hundred percent maybe the person was earning hundred naira before they just the next month they just say oh more you are due for increment they just knock on hundred you know, joint they are paying two hundred every month oh man we were shut down shut down just go to the supermarket to maybe be buying what is no good okay so 
100% increase in the consumer's income. Then now, quantity demanded. Okay, did it also increase? It increased from 80 to 120. You see, huh? shut down, shut down supermarket. So now, let us see the uh, percentage change, percentage change in what now? In quantity demanded, which is QD is equal to what? Uh, what is, uh, the new is what? 120? 120 minus, what is the old? 80. All over what now? The old, which is, uh, that, that is the initial, which is the old, which is 80, then times what? 100%. Okay, 120 minus 80 is what? It's 40 over what? 80 times 100 what percent? 40 year one, 40 year two times, two year one, two year 50. Okay, so that's about 50%. Abi? Yeah, so now, what is now our income elasticity or demand? EY, we say is what? Percentage change in quantity demanded over what? Percentage change in income. Okay, what's our percentage change in quantity demanded? 50%. Okay, what's our percentage change in uh, in income? 100%. So percentage will cancel percentage. Zero will cancel zero. Five year one, five year two. That is what one over two. Is our answer there in what? In fraction? No, it's in decimal. So convert what? One over two to decimal. So I want to have what now? 0 0.5. If you don't know how to convert it, all right, make sure you want to press your calculator. Okay? So take note of what of that. So now, is this one positive income? Elasticity or negative income elasticity. We say that what that the elasticity or the, the coefficient of elasticity of demand, okay, is usually what EY is greater than zero for positive income elasticity. Why EY is what less than zero for what for negative income elasticity. So obviously, you know this is what positive, okay? It's positive. So now let us go. Let us use the other uh, formula to what to solve. Yes, let us try this, the other formula. Let's say we are using changing uh, quantity demanded. Let's use the formula. Okay, so we also said that what that uh, uh, the coefficient of what elasticity of income elasticity of demand EY is what change in what quantity demanded over what change in what income then times what you have cleaned the changes times what is it called uh, uh, quantity demanded okay sorry times what times uh, income all over what quantity what demanded all right so this is our, our what our shortcut formula. Times income over quantity demanded. That is what the initial income and what the initial quantity demanded. So let us let 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 us let us. What is the change? What is the change in quantity demanded? Not percentage change. Oh, change change here is what for quantity demanded is what is forty. Change here in uh, income is what two thousand minus four thousand. That is what two thousand. Then times what is initial the initial um, uh, income two thousand. Then what is the initial quantity demanded eighty. So 2000, first of all, we we'll cancel 2000. 40 year one, four year one, four year two. What is left? One over two, which is what? 0 0.5. So in an exam condition, this one is very, very, very fast. Okay? It's very, very, very fast. So what to get you, what you answer. So that is that. The formula works very well. So now let us check the other questions we have. Number two now. Uh, this is a 1999 question. Number six, 1999, number six. Okay, so now they said, uh, we are giving a table, family income, expenditure on clothing, period one and period two. Okay, that is initial and the old. All right, so for family income, for income, all right, we know that what's here, that what, that uh, initial, initial is what? Is 1,000, then uh, new. New is what? It's 1,500. Okay? So we can find the change. Okay? So percentage change in Y would be what now? Uh, old. That is uh, new minus old. 1,500 minus what? 1,000. All over what now? Old, which is what? 1,000. Then times 100%. Okay? 1,500 minus 1,000 is what? 500 over 1,000 times 100 percent 500 year one 500 year two two year one two year 50 that is what a 50 percent <coughs> excuse me that's a 50 percent oh yeah so now uh let's proceed for uh, uh expenditure on clothing or quantity demanded qd axis now but they give us on um, expenditure on best expenditure on clothing there okay so obviously uh uh initial Initial was what? Was 100. 
okay, was 100 units, okay, or Nera. Then was final or new now. New is what is is 200. Hope I've seen the table from from your uh from the screen. Okay, so now I'm giving 100 here and then yeah, 200. Now let us change look for percentage change in QD. That will give us what now 100. Our new is 200 rather 200 minus what 100 over what 100 times 100 percent. 200 minus 100 is 100 over what now 100 then times 100. 100 or cancel 100. What is left here is what? 100%. All right, so now we've got in what our quantity demanded, our percentage change in quantity demanded, our quantity percentage change in income. What do we do? We just divide percentage change in quantity demanded over what the percentage change in what? In uh, what's it called? Uh, in income. So our EY, EY is what? Percentage change in QD over, all right, over uh, percentage change over percentage change. In what? In why? Okay, so we can do that. Uh, what's our percentage change in quantity demanded? Okay, that one says equals to what now? Uh, quantity demanded is 100. Then percentage change in what? In why? Is what? 50%. Percentage will cancel percentage. 50 year one, 50 year two. Our answer there was will be two. Okay, so let us check the option. It's two there. A it says 0 0.5, B says two. C says 2.5, D says 5.0. So correct answer there is what is option B, which is two. Now we can use our shortcut formula also. We said that what that EY is what now is a change in quantity demanded over change in Y times Y over quantity demanded. Okay, so we can still use what this formula. Okay, let's come to this side of the board. Let's do that. What is our change in quantity demanded? Our change was what 500. Okay, no, that is income. For quantity demanded is what is 100. 100 over what? 500. Then times what now? What was our, what was our initial uh, income? 1,000. 1,000 over what now? What's our initial uh, quantity demanded? 100. Okay, we see. 100 will cancel 100. 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. 10 over 5 is what? Is 2. Okay, so we are so, also very, very correct. So please take note of this formula for income elasticity of demand. Now, one hand. All right, one hand, you get your answer. So there are so many other questions on this application. Go to Play Store, download the application, activate it as if your life depends on it, and start studying immediately. Time is what you do not have the luxury of. My name is Master T. I am the Grand Commander of this great army. All right, we are going to succeed. You are going to, you have no choice than to succeed. See you in the next episode.